is a bright and early day today. We are off to the Riviera Resort before going to Epcot. We haven't got a reservation for Topolino's. Um, it was one of the ones that I really, really wanted, but it's one of the hardest reservations to get. So, wasn't able to get one of them at like our 60 day booking window. However, we went there yesterday and I basically said if you turn up when we open, then likelihood is that we should be able to get you in fairly quickly. So, that is what we're doing. So it is 10 past seven. Our Uber is two minutes away. And then we're up to the Griffin Pizza. It's definitely my favorite restaurant ever. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a character meal with Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Daisy, if you don't know. They do, the, I'd say the best breakfast for a character meal, would you say? Like best food wise. It's probably the best bang for your buck in regards to character meals. Character meals always want to be expensive. They're more expensive because of the characters and sometimes the food's not necessarily worth it. But I would say in regards to Topolino Terrace, that is an exception. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'll show you kind of all what the food's like and everything when we get there, but it's very, very cute. Food's really good. The characters are amazing. Their outfits are adorable. And I just love the Riviera Resort. So let's go. So we're all checked into Topolino Terrace at the Riviera. Um, Uber driver was really, really quick. So we got here literally bang on 7.30, which was great. Um, the good thing about coming early, even if you can't get a reservation at this, um, this hotel, this restaurant fills out of reservations like really, really quickly. So if you're not on a Disney property, or even if you don't like do it quick enough, then you may not be able to get a reservation. Good thing is if you do come first thing when it opens at 7.30, you could still, doing the walk up list so we've literally got away like she said hopefully under 10 minutes and we should be able to get in so that's really good so yeah if you can't get a reservation don't think okay that's it we can't go just come as early as you possibly can preferably obviously when they open and you should hopefully be able to still get in so yeah top tip of the day <laughs> we have just been seated we were waiting what five minutes wasn't long at all if if five minutes so yeah definitely worth coming first thing in the morning because look how quiet it is i imagine give it 20 minutes half an hour and this will fill up a hell of a lot but look how pretty it is in here absolutely love it lady's taken our drink order already i've got some pop juice which i'm excited about and we're just having a look at the menu i'll give you a quick look to see what the menu is like so if you want to kind of slow it down or slop or anything, then have a look. This is a basket. They bring you like a on with muffin, muffins basket in a cute little cake pot. <laughs> and the knife for animators palette, which we both love. Hi Daisy, how are you? I love your outfit, you look amazing. Can you give us a 12? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> at how amazing this looks and looks so so good thank you so much yeah amazing thank you hi mickey how are you are these all your poems wow you're so talented <laughs> He's so silly. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Donald. You're so adorable. Number one. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> You're amazing. We've just finished our breakfast at Topolino's and we have now come out onto the balcony. And you can see pretty much all of Disney World from here. The only place you can't really see is like the Magic Kingdom area. You've got Caribbean Beach all down here. You've got Art of Animation in the background. You've got some other resorts all like over here. And then you've got Galaxy's Edge here. That's obviously Tower of Terror. You've got the Tree of Life and Everest over there in the background. Swan and Dolphin over here. And then over here, you've got the boardwalk and Epcot over there. And okay, this is cool. the result. Yeah, it is. I can't see the ball. No, the ball's literally like there. But that's. Oh, yeah, it's got balls, that's yeah. Nice. But that's like, well, showcase. 
Yeah. That was such a good breakfast. Really good character interaction. Donald didn't like Ben because he kept looking at Daisy the wrong way, apparently. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, yeah, they were just really good character interactions. I love Donald. He's my fave. I love him. Even and when he had a go at me. Yeah, even when he had a go at you. Wow. He's cute. He's worth it. <laughs> definitely my favourite breakfast in general, but definitely the best character breakfast. For me, it's definitely a 5 out of 5. What about you? Yeah, 5. 5? Five. Five yeah. Definitely a 5 out of 5. Um, so for me, this is my must do every single time. Um, I absolutely love it. The food is worth the price. It's expensive for both of us. It was $95. Um, so it is an expensive breakfast. Obviously, the fact that it's character breakfast is going to be more anyway. But I think this is the only character breakfast that we've been to so far that I genuinely think is worth the price. One, because the characters. Two, because the food is amazing. Three, like this view is unreal. The restaurant is like a really nice restaurant. It's more of like an upscale restaurant rather than like your standard character breakfast like Chef Mickey's and all that kind of stuff. So we're now on the Skyliner and we are heading over to Epcot. We haven't really been able to do Epcot properly because last time we came it was like thunderstorms and torrential rain every single time we came to Epcot. So we haven't really done Epcot properly. Or like World Showcase anyway. So hopefully we this time we'll be able to do Epcot. Epcot. Now I'm to this place. Let's go. I also tried booking a lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy at 7 o'clock this morning. Bang on 7, they had already sold out, so I'm going to have to try the 1 o'clock um, time slot. But I have booked a lightning lane for it at half past 1. So either way, we're riding Guardians today, but hopefully we'll be able to ride it twice. We'll see. Thank you. Let's go, the free cover yeah, rolls. No, that's right, don't you? That's like the free cover yeah, rolls. Ay yeah. caramba! At least he says remember me, they're coming on the door. See? It's Donald. It's a cute ride. It's obviously a filler attraction, but it should definitely be rethemed to Coco. Donald in his little Mexican outfit, which was very cute, and we're now in the Norway pavilion. We're going to shop. Mm. Roasted garlic roasted flavour. Roasted lamb skewer flavour. What's this from? Doesn't say. Roasted garlic oyster. Spicy crayfish flavour. Try that. No, I'd rather not. The word is numb. <laughs> Going caramel kush. Is it caramel kush or caramel kuche? All right, no. I don't know. I call it caramel kuch. <laughs> in the art of Disney's shop in the American Adventure Pavilion. The Haunted Mansion one's well cool. Yeah, there's a Haunted Mansion photo over there. That's so cool. Oh look, you can get the Thomas Kincaid ones. They're like the puzzles that we've done. We've done that one. That one. We have done that one. On that one, and we jumped on the table. He's not there. Not there? No. That's a cool picture. Oh, 
I love that Mickey one on the back, that's cute. But it's the new cartoon. I'm not really a fan of the new style cartoon. I love that. We've now done the whole of the, front, um, the World Showcase other than the France Pavilion. And we're gonna come back and do this one later because I want a couple of snacks from here later. But I've got a fast pass for soaring. Um, we've actually managed to stack a few today. So at this minute, we've got a fast pass for soaring, fast pass for Guardians, and a fast pass for Test Track. And in an hour's time, we can get a fast pass for something else. Well, I can get a fast pass as soon as I tap into Sorin as well. Um, and then we can get a fast pass for something else. I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. I might just try and do like Living with the Land or something purely because it's like right next to Sorin.
happy. That was the best ride I've ever done. That was so good. Let's go try and find Ben now. I'm not sure where he is. Lunch in Connections, which is like the new cafeteria and everything there. And they've got a Starbucks just around the corner as well. And going a little waffle. I've got a cheeseburger. Chips are amazing. Ben just got a hamburger. We should come back with the drink stuff. Or should I say, your future? Here in your future, getting away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you'll need. And with solar power from your home fueling station, you're off. Don't worry about the house. A PDA with remote control can take care of anything you forgot. You'll leave your country home in an ultra-light now in the new creations shop yeah hold the mic i'm on the hunt for the spaceship earth cookie jar because i've wanted it for donkey's years i'm gonna get it and bring it home look how pretty they do one of the castle as well, which I prefer Magic Kingdom. I'm more of a Magic, Magic Kingdom person than an Epcot person, but I love it. So it is a good few hours later now. I didn't vlog um, too much of like our late afternoon, early evening or anything that we spent in Epcot. We didn't watch the fireworks or anything. Um, we left at about half six, seven o'clock, um, so just as it was getting dark and went to Walmart to get some essentials aka like oreos and sugar cookies and prime because ben wants some prime um so he's currently sat on the bed taking photos of it the weirdo <laughs> um we were unable to get the bottles of like the juice one but we found the energy drink so he's got every single flavor of the energy drink to try so um yeah um, but we are now back in the hotel. We're just gonna chill out for the night now. It's about half past nine. So yeah, we're gonna have a fairly early night, I guess. And we've got a full on day tomorrow. So we're starting the day off tomorrow at Animal Kingdom and ending the day in Magic Kingdom seeing the fireworks for the first time this trip. I'm so excited to see Enchantment. Um, it won't be the last time we see them in this trip. We are going to see them on our last full day as well. Um, but yeah, it'll be the first time we've seen the fireworks this trip. So very excited for that. Excited to go to Animal Kingdom again. They're definitely my two favourite parks. So tomorrow should be a good day. My feet are killing me today though. So I'm quite happy that today's over to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good day. We've done loads of Epcot. We've actually been able to see all of world showcase this time which we didn't really get to do last time because of the awful weather that we always had whenever we went to epcot for some weird reason um so i feel like we've actually been able to do epcot properly today which is really good what would you say your highlight of the day is benjamin oh for god's sake really are you being serious <laughs> your highlight of the day is getting to prime all right that's sad god my highlight of the day is probably toppling on a terrace this morning that feels like forever ago now didn't it? That feels like ages ago. Um, but yeah, toppling on the terrace this morning because I didn't know if we were actually going to get in or not. And yeah, being able to get in and it, we just had really good interactions and the food was amazing. So yeah, I love Topolino. So that's my favourite and Ben's getting to managerial. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, really good day. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe to see all future stuff, including Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom in tomorrow's video. And I will see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Thank you.